Oh, oh, I think we got one. It's come a long way to get it, too. Get it? Yeah! Look at him jump! I love it! That's so cool! Alright, Survivor's Polly Jr. here. And welcome to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. That will be out on Steam on May 10th. I'm recording this on the 6th of May. This is a demo I was sent by the developer to play the game and share it with you here on the on the channel and uh, get some get some hype going. So that's what we're gonna do. I've never actually played the original Ultimate Fishing Simulator or pretty much any fishing simulator, <laughs> but I want to try it. I want to try. It. I hear a lot of good things about it, um, about these fishing simulators. So let's give it a try. I call myself Punchwood, a man. Fisherman, and is that it? That's all I gotta do. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is a demo. Like I said, the game is coming out on May 10th. Uh, this is very, very limited. It looks like we have only one map. Jackson National Park. Uh, it's located in the U.S. It's Wyoming, right? In the Grand Tetons, yes. And the fish on this particular map will be yellow perch, rainbow trout, black bullhead catfish, sockeye salmon, and smallmouth bass. But here's all the other ones that will be available in the full version. Again, coming out on May 10th, so keep your eyes open for that. But let's get to the demo here and let's play. Um, what else do we have here? Here's our inventory. So we can shop. We have tournaments, statistics, settings. Obviously, these are closed up, locked for the demo. Um, so we're just going to play what we can and check it out. Let's go fishing. All right, here we are. And we have a tutorial that um, I'm not going to read because I've already been through this once real quick <laughs> in a test run. So I kind of have the basics down so I don't look like a complete fool. And we can focus on catching actual fish in our fishing simulator, uh, ultimate fishing simulator 2. So let's have a look here. This is a lovely river. I love the backdrops <laughs> and the uh, birdies in the background. You can actually choose what kind of day you want somewhere. Where is that? I think it's under, is that under inventory? Um, there's a place where you can set the time of day. Oh, maybe it's under map. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. So here's all the fishing spots on this particular map. There's five of them, right? And we can teleport between them as long as we don't have our fishing pole in our hands. We can choose the time of day and we can choose the weather, which is really, really cool. And I, I imagine the weather and the time of day has an effect on the fish's eating patterns um which is i guess would be simulated in the simulator which is pretty cool but let's just stick with the default which is right now noon on a nice clear sunny day and i cannot pass up this lovely footbridge we're going to go over here to the end of that and fish off this little dock this looks like a nice little hole look at that all right let's check out the gear we have two sets we've got one with a uh, spinner and then we have another one. Oh, there's a fishy right there. Hello, fishy, fishy. <laughs> that oh, always a jumper. We got a jumper here. That looks like it's a rainbow trout, right? Let's um, let's drop this down on his head. Oh, he's a hopper. He seems happy. He's a happy hopper. All right. Our, the the bobber's gonna go right to him with the uh, the current from the river. There we go. And we're not gonna get to him. Can I give line out? I don't think so. I'm not sure. We might have to recast. Yeah, he's um. Yeah, he's eating on the surface, so this might be a good idea to use something close to the surface that this might do. Now, hold on a second. How do we... No, that's going to be a long, long cast. I knew it. And that guy's backyard. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm going to catch one of his kids. Um, I think we can press Q and then recast. Yeah, where'd that guy go? All right, let's try that again. He's right in those lily pads over there. If you hold on right mouse button, you just kind of toss it like that. Let the current take it. We can switch to a different view, like an underwater view. Oh my, what happened? Why is my lead so long? That, did I do that? Maybe I did that. Uh, here's the panel that tells us how to do things. I was under the assumption I knew what I was doing, but maybe I screwed something up. Yeah, it's not that long right here. I think that was just some kind of a bug. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that looks better. Although now the fish is gone. Now we can zoom out or up and get this view and we can go back underwater and we can go back to us over here for full realistic uh simulation view and there's another fish down there's a little deeper than the last one i don't think that was is that a salmon 
What was that? That didn't look like a trout. Hmm. Oh, oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, see, these are not these are not all the same type of fish. We have quite the variety here. Can we go underwater and look? No. Dang it. All right, we got to get a little deeper for that guy. Let, let's pull this up. And let's try to drop the lead. Whoop, up, 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 reel it in. And we can drop this down. How do we do that? Line lead. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Let's go one meter and we'll just drop it in there like that. Toss it. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, that's a catfish. That's a bullhead. He's going down. He's going down deep. They're usually down on the bottom. Came up to see some friends. Um, that doesn't really look like it's going to be deep enough. And I can't go th to the water view here for some reason. I think it's bugged. Oh, oh look at that. They're all over it. Come on, somebody bite that. Uh, what is that? I think it's bread. <laughs> it's freshly baked. We've got 50 pieces of this fresh bread. Look at all the fish here. There's a perch. Um, I think there's smallmouth bass in here, too. There's, like, a, quite a variety. Oh, oh, man, they're eating everything except for my bread. You don't like my cooking? Uh, all right. Let's, let's switch. <laughs> let's go back to the inventory and see what else we got here for baits. Maybe the hook size. Oh, we only have one hook anyway. So that's not going to help. We can change a lot of things here. But, oh, here we go. Here we go. You know what? They look like earthworm eaters. I'm going to go with the worms. I like worms. So let's switch the bait. Bring it up a little bit because they're kind of feeding close to the surface. And we'll just toss it out. Eee. I told you this is a good hole right here. All right. Let's reel in the slack and just let it sit. Look at that little wormy at the end of that hook. He's just holding on tight. Don't worry. We didn't put the hook through him. He's fine. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a rainbow trout completely ignoring the worm. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh we got one. We got a perch. And what do I do? What, what do I do? I reel? I'm reeling in. Yes, reeling in. <laughs> okay, we hooked him. Right mouse button to hook him. And then we reel him. Let him fight. Let him fight. Oh, don't go under the dock, dude. Press and hold. Why? What am I pressing and holding for? Oh, we're picking him up. Whoa. We got him. Yellow perch. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, that's me. Hey. Boy, I, I lost about 20 years. And about 20 pounds. <laughs> Alright, well that's a good one. It's 2.37 kilograms. What is that? Like 5 pounds? That's a big one. Holy smokes. Um, we can sell it or we can release it. If we release it, it'll grow bigger. Yeah, so this game simulates like actual growth patterns and uh, evolution or something. Um, or we can just sell it for 237 bucks. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it because we need money so we can go to the shop and buy stuff. Although, I don't think we can buy stuff in this, in the demo, unfortunately. All right. Um, oh, we need to rehook the hook. So, let's go back to inventory. That, that worked out pretty well. I like the wormies here, I think. Oh, we got a spinner? Oh, I love spinners. I love spinners and a froggy. You can put a frog on the lily pads. Um, well, let's do this then. Let's try, let's try a spinner. I'm a spinner guy. I love spinners. I was a huge MEPS guy. Oh, hold on. I gotta switch. Gotta switch sets, right? Switch to this set. This is the spinner set. Okay. Yeah, so I was a, a huge MEPS spinner guy. It was my favorite. Especially the ones with a little minnow on it. Um, caught a lot of fish with those MEPS. I used a lot of Rebel, uh, a lot of Rapala, but mostly MEPS. And then the standards like the Daredevils and all those. Let's try this right here. See if we can catch these guys on a regular alert. Oh, look at that spinning action. I loves it. So nice. If I were a fish, I'd be all over that in a second. <laughs> Get out of here, duck. I didn't bring my shotgun. You're lucky. That duck is super, super curious. You want some bread? The fish ain't eating it. I just baked it this morning. Very fresh. All right, stay right there. I'll get you some. Can we catch a duck? Um, I'm not seeing any fish anymore, but let's let's try a different spot. But there were so many fish here. I'm kind of curious if we can catch one on a spinner. I want to get a bass. There's there's a fish right there on the surface that looks like maybe a bass. Let's see if we can put this in front of him and then reel it in right past his face. Oh, somebody was somebody chasing that. 
Or was that a reflection of a leaf? Could have been a reflection. Oh, look at that over there. That looks enticing. Let's drop it right in those pads. And this is where the frog might come into play. Where you just drop it in the leaf, lily pads and let it float on the top. And then you kind of jig it. I had a favorite little frog. I, I still have my tackle box from when I was a boy. <laughs> And I still have that tackle box right now with all the tackle in it that I had as a kid. And I still have that little frog. And I love that frog. I caught a couple of big, big bass and pickerel and maybe even some pike in that. That, that was what I used to fish for. Bass, smallmouth, largemouth, pickerel, um, northern pike, muskies. Used to go up north in New England like Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire and catch, um, catch a lot of whoppers up there. Alright, plop that down right here, see if we can get, you, get another one. Yeah, this is really cheaty that you can see underwater. I mean, obviously this is not super realistic, but it's a great effect. And it's really cool to see the, sw the fish swim around and then dart for the hook. And then you get to watch them fight close up and personal which is really neat but let's go back to the me view and see if we can catch one realistically up here I just want to make sure we're close that looks like a smallmouth bass and he's in a hurry where's the fire buddy look at this tasty worm come back not interested all right it's kind of cool that there's like logs and uh, like little branches and leaves floating down the river keeps it sort of realistic looking right and we got the uh the leaves flying around and there's butterflies it's a nice setting it's definitely a nice very peaceful and calming setting fishing can be peaceful and calming and sometimes it can be frustrating and annoying <laughs> when you're not catching anything <laughs> and you can see the fish that's when it gets frustrating and annoying. <laughs> but this part right here is very realistic. Because they don't always bite. There is a um, rainbow trout. Oh, oh, we got another perch. I don't want a perch. I want a bass. This one's ignoring our worm. Hey, buddy, look. It's tasty. Yum, 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 yum. Juicy. Nothing. All right, let's try out that frog on our set one. Right here. There we go. Attractive for perch, smallmouth bass, catfish, trout, salmon, sockeye, and yellow perch. So pretty much everything here. Right, so this this is uh, this is an all-around bait. Should work well here. We're going to put it right in those lily pads again. And we should go try some of the other spots just to at least have a look at them. Whoop, a little too far there. All right, now... I just want to get in close to see how it looks. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to catch a fish without the cheating view here. But I'm curious. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. where's he going? Okay, that's the current taking it away. Or my, my, my line broke. <laughs> this thing's got a mind of its own. Yeah, it's just the current taking it out of the lily pads. Maybe we'll throw it to the lily pads on the left-hand side here. But you do kind of just want this thing to sort of swim along the surface. Like a real frog trying to swim along the river, across the river, from one side to the other. And hope that a fish will see it and try to eat it. I don't think we're in the lily pads. Oh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, we're in the lily pads. It just doesn't really show them very well. I need to do this. Help me. I can't swim. Help me. You gotta pretend he's hurt and make a lot of motion and movement and ripples. Help, help me. Nope, nope. Hey duck, <laughs> you eat frogs? <laughs> Probably. Let's put this away. Let's go to our map and let's go to a new location. How about over here off the river so there's no current? In five? Yeah, let's go there. Oh, look at that, instant. I'm curious if we can walk. I, I, my, my guess is we can actually walk along the paths here. Although this game leaves a lot to be desired as far as the first person motion and movement goes. <laughs> it's a little bit wonky. So let's go back over here and let's check out this little hole. 
And why don't we change, let's change to say evening fishing and we'll give it a light rain. How about that? And then do I have to click it again? Yep. Oh, just like that. I can control the weather. All right. Now, let's go with our spinner. Is that the frog on there still? Yeah, that's still a froggy. Um, although with the rain, it's not bad having something on the surface. Because rain knocks little bugs and insects into the, into the water, and the fish know that. So how about if we just try something different? Let's try the mackerel. That looks tasty. Works for everything here. So we have all kinds of indicators down on the right, bottom right line, rod, reel. I'm not really sure exactly what they all do. Oh, why did they put me in that view suddenly? I don't know. Because um, I didn't really read about it, but it's all there in the help system. So if you do buy the game, I'm sure they have some kind of an effect or impact. Some of that stuff might be important. Like drag and speed. I mean, it tells you what to do with this panel over here on the left-hand side. Like real speed, um, real drag, etc. I don't know how important it all is, but it's there if you need it. I love that little red tail. I'm not seeing any fish here. It's probably a good idea to at least get underwater just to see if there's any fish here. Because if there's no fish in this location, there's a fish, then it's probably not worth fishing. But I think all the locations do have fish in the beginning. But you can fish a location out, as far as I know. The fish don't keep respawning. I think new ones will grow eventually. But um, I'm not sure what the spawning ratio is or how fast or anything like that. I'm going to move up a little bit here. I want to catch a fish in first-person view, just like this, like a realistic catch, and feel the bite, and I want to hook it and reel it in. Let's see if we can get that done. Here comes that crazy quacker. Hey, buddy, you know this fishing thing, right? It ain't all what it's quacked up to be. But um, boom shh, dad joke. I'm going to switch this out and use the, the crank, the Sakura SCB crank. This one might go a little bit deeper. This seems like this is a pretty deep hole. Well, the depth is shown there on the right. Let's see. When the lure is in the water, it should show us the depth. One and a half meters right there. Cool. I want to see the action on this thing. That looks delicious. Why is nobody eating it? I don't think there's any fish here. I'm not seeing any. When I look underwater, I don't see any fish. Not a single one here. Um, let's just try one more cast over in this direction, and then maybe we'll switch the maps. And the uh, the weather. I was always a early morning fisherman. It seemed to be the best. Let's go to morning. And let's make it a clear day. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't have to switch map either. It just changes automatically, just like that. Let's see if there's anything in the water. Oh, yeah, we got fish. We got fish. Smallmouth bass right there. Completely uninterested in this, uh, in this lure. You can see his reflection in the water. How about we switch back to this one? We had really good luck with the worm, right? Just drop a worm on him. Oh, hold up. Got a perch here. Swimming right by. And I'm getting dragged away by the, by the current. Can we put heavier weights on this thing, I wonder? Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, we got float weights. Yes, we can. Okay, let's put a four a gram on there. That might help a little bit. Although this river is running fairly swiftly. Might not do much. But it's worth a try. Whoa! What happened there? Switch back. Alright, let's bring it a little bit closer. There's a fish swimming right around in the center of the river here. 
yeah, I mean, the weight is not really helping much. So we're just going to have to live with it. Just want to keep that line tight in case we get a hit. Oh, there's the fish. Fish coming up. We're going down. Going to meet right about there. Get him. Bite him. Bite him. Bite him. Oh, my gosh. Must be a vegetarian. Great. You can try bread. Let's try bread. There he is. Come on, buddy. You love the bread. You're a vegetarian. Nope. Oh, here's another one. Oh, oh, oh. He went down. Dove down. All right, let's cast upriver. And the cart will take it right down past these two Fulios, hopefully. Come on. Come on. I'm so tempted to look under the water, but I don't want to. I want to catch one realistically in this view. Whoa, what was that? Nothing. False alarm. Uh, now we got the sun reflections, making it harder to see under the water. Well, still no luck. <laughs> um, and honestly, I'm a much better fisherman in real life than I am in a simulator. I just can't catch these fish. I can literally see them. I put the hook or the lure right in front of their faces. Oh, see this one right there? Is that a perch? Yeah, it's a perch. I see stripes. Watch. But I just can't catch the darn things. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Nothing. All right, let's do some night fishing and move over here. Oh, wow. That's dark. But we have a flashlight, which is really cool. But how the heck am I going to see the fish? Maybe they glow. Hmm. Can't see much, honestly. It's a good thing the hooks don't get stuck on things like rocks and branches. Because <laughs> that right there, that would have been a problem. I've lost a lot of hooks and lures over the years. On branches and uh, far shore and stuff. Like that thing right there would be a serious problem. Oh, well, wow, we can see the fish easily. Look at that thing. They really do glow. All right, well, let's toss this in front of its face here and see what happens. Tasty treat, buddy. Right behind you. Nope, not interested. Not interested at all. Let's go with something silver. That'll reflect the moonlight. This right here. We'll put it right in front of that fish. Couldn't really tell what it was in the dark. Looked, looked like a perch. Still down here? Oh no, that's a bass. Look at that guy. Beautiful, but completely uninterested. I mean, it looks like the fish have specific patterns. They just keep repeating the same pattern. So it's a matter of just getting the right bait, right hook, um, and the right cast. And then getting it all aligned at the right time, and hopefully you get a bite. But I'm kind of losing my patience with this right now. <laughs> All right, it's now day, noon, clear, and sunny, and I'm back at my little hole here. I'm going to catch another fish right here in the hole. We've had the most luck here with a worm and a uh, bobber. we got some perch coming in. We've got a nice, uh, looks like a, a trout. And I'm going to try to catch one more fish from this angle, you know, like the realistic angle. And then we can call it a day because I've had enough fishing for one day. Come on, come on, rainbow trout. You know you want it. Oh, 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 I think we got one. It's come a long way to get it, too. Get it, yeah! Look at him jump. I love it. That's so cool. All right, I'm pressing the wrong button to reel him in. Left mouse button to reel him in. Um, we don't want the line to snap, so we got to keep an eye on the drag. He's got a little bar on him, too. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's the drag. And we got him. Another perch. Another perch. It's a big one. All right, it's not that big. Do I have an earring? What the heck? <laughs> Don't let my dad see that. <laughs> anyway, there we go. We're going to let this guy go because he's not as big as the other one. Um, so, yeah, go back. Get bigger. And this place needs more fish anyway, apparently, because they just don't bite enough. And I think with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits for this uh, this episode of Fishing 
Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Um, unfortunately, we can't really do much more. Like, go to the store or anything. Do you do the store here in the game? I guess we have to leave the game. Well, let's go back and see. Now that we have a little money, maybe we can go to the store. Alright, we're back at the main screen. We do not have access to the shop. Or the tournaments or anything else. So it looks like it's not in the demo. So, I guess we're just going to call it quits. But look at that. We sold a fish for 237 buckaroonies. Not too shabby. So, there you go. That's uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 demo. Check it out. Link down below if you like what you see here. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.